In this video, I'll be demonstrating the make one increase above a branching increase in contrast vertical stranding in the round. In order to have these two contrast stitches branch, we're gonna need a main color stitch in between, but there isn't the customary bar that you would pick up. So I have this little video to show you how to find it. So I'm simulating knitting in the round. So I've got my little strand back here. I'm zoomed in more than the last two since it's all about finding a little dark stitch. So here we go. Just stuck a net over to my contrast. My sample has the branching stitch, the new, the new strand off to the left. So I'm gonna be demonstrating the make one left, but it would be the same technique whether you were making one right or left. So we've reached our contrast color, the normal one as shown in the previous video. You just lay the old color. Just make sure that you do pick up the correct one. There's two butterflies back here now. Luckily, they're slightly different colors because of this lovely hand-dyed Malabrigo. So I knit into the back. I drop the contrast where it is. Now I need to find that stitch. I've got my finger behind here that kind of helps. This is the bar we're going for. Not the one we just made on our current row, but the one from the previous row. And I'm gonna take my left hand needle, I'm gonna go behind the contrast stitch, but I'm going to pick this one up from the front so that it is seated on the needle, front to back, right to left, as you would for a make one left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and knit into the back of it with my main color. So I now have my make one left. Now I have my next contrast color. It's a little bit loose since it's a new stitch from the previous round. This is my tail in the front so I don't accidentally knit with it. And so I pick the proper butterfly in the back and I knit into the back of it. And now I can continue on with my main color. In this case, I'm having an SSK. This will be indicated in your pattern because this is an increase with the make one. This is the corresponding decrease. And then I just continue to the end of the row. Round, as it would be. There we are. 